Tuesday, October 25th, 2016, Monaco 64, home of alternative economics and contrarian views. It's 10 a.m. London time or 5 a.m. New York. I just want to give a, a quick update on the markets and also some technical analysis for gold, silver, and Bitcoin. So right now, gold's trading 1270, up about six dollars from uh, the 6 p.m. Uh, close in New York, the Project A or Comex Globex. Uh, the, the the Dow is up 33 points at 18,250. Uh, silver is at 1777, up almost 20 cents, and uh, currencies are pretty much unchanged. Uh, the dollar is a little stronger against the yen. It's up a quarter of a percent. So, uh, yeah, fairly quiet markets. Stock market still firm. Uh, so now we're going to look at the uh, technical picture. I'm going to start with the short-term uh, technical uh, chart for, uh, for gold. And uh, so I'm going to bring up a chart here. And you can see... Uh, Short-term chart, I have a Fibonacci uh, retracement analysis from the recent high uh, at 1344 to the low at 1242, so like a $100 move. And uh, we failed to get back above the 38.2% retracement for now, which is around 1281. But it's holding fairly well right now in the last uh, week or so above 1260. Uh, you can see there uh, about four or five days ago, the high is around 1275 since that drop uh, to uh, 1242. So we need to, if we are able to get above 1275 and 1280 in the, in the short term, that would be quite uh, constructive for the price of gold. Uh, the other thing I want to tell people is that when I give these updates, technical analysis, I'm not trying to uh, tell people what to do, you know, to buy or sell, to trade. It's just my opinion. So this is not advice. Uh, it's just what I think uh, about the market. Uh, so we're now going to go into, I want to have a look at the weekly chart in gold, more longer term to see how uh, the longer term picture looks and how that could affect the short term picture. So here's a weekly chart of gold, and I've got another Fibonacci retracement analysis. That's from the low uh, last year to the high this year. So it's a different retracement uh, analysis. And as you can see, we held just, uh, we've been holding just above the 38.2% uh, retracement of that whole move, which is around 1249. Uh, one thing that is a little bit concerning to me as a technical analyst is looking at the weekly chart it looks like we could be forming a flag a bear flag in gold so that's the only concern I have at the moment um, so in order to negate that bear flag I think we need to if we are able to trade above 12 1280 this week and even higher that would probably negate that chart but if if we go up to like 1278, 1280, and then come back down, uh, then that's not as good a sign. We need to uh, go above 1280, I think, and stay above 1280 and close the week above that level for that flag basically to uh, be negated, in my opinion. So that's the uh, technical picture for gold. So we're going to look at uh, silver now short term chart for silver um, yeah uh, I've got the Fibonacci analysis from the high uh, just above uh, 20 2008 uh, to the low earlier this month at around 1710 and uh, silver has just pretty much been in a fairly narrow range here as you can see these last few weeks uh, very uh, easy to see here we need to get above $18 uh, that would be very positive uh, and the other level to look at actually is the uh, low there at the end of September that's around 1840 um, 
So if we can get back towards those levels, silver is going to start looking a lot better. Um, so that's the technical picture for silver. And now uh, Bitcoin. Uh, so I've got I brought a chart here, a long term chart of uh, Bitcoin. And uh, since August, Bitcoin has been very steady. Uh, we've been uh, it has been quite uh, tedious at times. But it's been mo moving slowly but surely higher, uh, as you can see here. So that's quite positive, in my opinion. Longer term, you can see that there's a trend line that, you know, the, the trend just definitely looks, you know, from the bottom left-hand side of the screen here to the top right-hand side. Uh, I still got uh, target around 660. Uh, I spoke about that a couple weeks ago. I think, we, well, we're very near there uh, in Bitcoin. Uh, let's see where we are exactly right now in Bitcoin. Uh, we're trading around 654. So doing re rebounding well. Yesterday we traded back below 650. So yeah, uh, I think Bitcoin looks good. Uh, we could even see, you know, some kind of uh, spike higher, seeing that Bitcoin has... Uh, not gone crazy in the last few months it's just gone steadily higher so there's building up some energy i would say so uh that's the technical uh picture for the uh, precious metals and bitcoins bitcoin here um yeah i'll uh update you later if there's any more changes in the markets if i have any more ideas uh contrarian ideas as far as economics, uh, geopolitics is concerned. Uh, again, this is not trading advice. It's just my view, uh, technical view on those uh, markets. So if you enjoy my videos, please uh, give me a thumbs up. Uh, share them uh, with friends, colleagues, family. And if you'd like to donate, uh, there's some links below in the description. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you later. Bye.